Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, well, I'm back up at the allotment after the winter break and um, we've been up a couple, I came up a couple of weeks ago with Pete and we took the covers off from last year. I'll just show you a, a little bit of footage from last year where we, these were the covers that we put over to suppress the weeds. So we took those off and I've been up on my own, not with Pete's help, uh, digging. I've, I've done a bit of digging, just trying to get the ground ready to plant some things. Anyway, um, when we were up here, when we first came up a couple of weeks ago, I noticed that I had, last year I had some broken panes of glass in my greenhouse at the back. There were some ventilation slats and two panes that were broken. And somebody had mended them. I don't know, who, I didn't know who it was, I had no idea. But um, anyway, I since found out that it was my lovely my neighbour Mike. Um, he's such a a good allotment neighbour. He's amazing. So I'm just showing you quickly. There you go. Those are the slats and the panes that he's replaced for me. Bless him. He's just amazing. I can't believe that. I just came up a minute ago and filmed the glass that Mike had mended for me and didn't even realise <laughs> that Mike had put all these seedlings in for me into the greenhouse. I was so much concentrating on the glass that he'd mended there without telling me, did it over the winter, I hadn't realised he'd put all these seeds in for me so how fantastic is that? What a lovely man. I love you, Mike. Anyway, I better get on with digging. The potatoes are going in next, so. So here with this little bit that I'm digging over, um, it's sort of virgin ground. It hasn't been dug over yet. So I'm literally just turning the soil over. I'm not, I mean, I am taking some of the weeds out, but I'm not really too worried about the weeds at this point. I'm just turning the soil just to break it up initially. So um, I'll go over it again at, a su at some point once I've um, broken it up now. That's me Molly. <coughs> Let's go and visit her, see how she's getting on. I'm going to come to grab my potatoes off of her. We've bought potatoes between us this year. Plot. Come and talk to me what you've done then. So you've covered this bit over, you've rested this bit then. Yeah, so I've oh, out of path. this bed, I covered it in manure which hadn't been rotted down and then I covered it with plastic to rest it for the year because it was just too much for me last year. Um, covered it over and I've just weighted it down with all the rubbish I've got around. That bed I've edged... It's cracked your boobs on It fell over. Oh, these allotments are naughty. Uh. <laughs> um, yeah, so this bed I've edged and dug over. Um, the same with that bed, all the grass had come like right in. Yeah. They were really small. Amazing. Widened them up. It's a bit of a job. <laughs> and then um, I've just got some mushroom on the bottom, which I'm going to dig in. Um, I don't want to burn my seeds. It's Molly's little shed, look over there. My rubbish shed. My rhubarb, which has gone berserkio. <laughs> I can't believe this, right? I just went up to my plot and filmed the glass that Mike mended yeah. for me. Yeah didn't even notice that he's put a ton of seedlings in my greenhouse <laughs> <laughs> so I came back and started digging over the plot and that and a bit later on he said D you better make sure you give them a bit of water I haven't watered them and I was like give what, what a bit of water and then I suddenly realized my greenhouse was full of seedlings I was like, oh my god oh, give he is like an, he's an allotment angel <laughs> and then so, that bed I've cut off from there so I have edged it all the way back but I've cut off from there so I can make that an actual 
you've got more rhubarb bed. there as well. You've got two great big clumps of rhubarb, look. Yeah, well, I'm going to try and make a start on this bed today once I've dug all this over. Yeah. I'm going to edge that bed as well because it's just a right old mess. That's where the compost bins were. Yeah. When I took the plot over. Yeah. So there's like mounds of stuff. But then I'm going to, my plan, my eventual plan, is to get rid of all of that, move a lot of that over onto this um, waste area for the minute. Yeah. Put my new shed in. Happy days. <laughs> Can't wait. Mom. Right, let's get digging. I think. Well, I'm gonna go have to get my spuds in. So where are they? They're in my car. Are you joking? That was a close up, wasn't it? Yeah. Molly, come to have a look at my plot now. She's we brought. She's brought me over Move the spuds. Virgin land. Yeah, she's brought me up the spuds. <laughs> I've got. What have we got? Let's. If I put it on camera, then I won't forget. So we've I don't got. Know how to pronounce it? You've got blue, blue Danube. That's the first earlies, which Swift. was Swift. And then in the bag, and then in the bag, got I've Edwards. got King Edwards. So those are the three that are going in. So that'll remind me to, because I haven't got any little um, tags to put it down on. So they're going to go in this first bed, I think, right up the other end where the courgettes were last year. So better get on with it. Oh no, lovely. See you later, potatoes. Dada. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm back to digging, but this time I'm actually putting my spuds in. So I'm digging a trench. Um, I don't don't ask me how deep it is. If you want to know how deep it is, have a look on other, somebody else's YouTube video because <laughs> they'll be much more accurate about it. I'm just sort of doing it by eye, digging a bit of a trench. I'm going to plant these ones are the first earlies, which are swift, and I've got five of them going into this little trench. I don't know if I've done them too close together because it's my first time of planting potatoes so let's suck it and see really and then on top of them I'm adding some of my well rotted manure and then I'm just going to cover them back over again with the soil that I took out um, I did firm them in a little bit not too much and then I'm going to dig over some more soil and just mound it up a bit on top of them because apparently that's what you're supposed to do um, so that you get more potatoes and then as they start to poke their heads through you're meant to um, build the soil up even further so it encourages them to um, produce more potatoes so I just did that for three more trenches which I don't think is going to be on camera uh, sorry two more trenches so the second trench um, was for my main crop which are the King Edwards and then oh here's Mike my allotment angel he's, this is more stuff he's given me as tomato plants and I think that was a courgette there apparently these are outdoor tomato plants so we'll give those a whirl this year um, and then the last row of potatoes is going to be uh, the blue Dan Danube ones so yeah we'll see how we get on My spuds are in. So the far, far row, that's my first earlies, which I think are swift. Second row is the main crop, which I think Molly said was King Edwards. And then the row closest is the blue Danube. So we'll see how we get on. I put plenty of my compost in. So we'll see, we'll see how they perform. Anyway, it's just about to start raining now, so I'm going to pack up and go home, I think. Well, I'm back at home again now. Rain stop play. I don't know if you can see it out there. But it's not very nice. Um, up at the allotment. And uh, I think it's Ted, one of the guys on the committee anyway, has um, decided he's going to rotate my whole plot tomorrow. So... If I'd have not sown my potatoes today, I would have even done that area. But anyway, they're in now, so I'm happy about that. And um, I'm really excited to see what happens, um, what it looks like when he's rotivated it. Save me a bit of uh, digging. I mean, obviously I'll still have to dig it, but it will be a bit easier. So I'm at home now in the greenhouse at home, and I've just noticed that uh, a couple of my things have come through. I'll just swing you around. 
I did some sewing last weekend and you probably, I don't know if you can see, look you see there's a couple of little green shoots there, that's my lettuces coming up, so I've got a couple of lettuces coming up and also here are some garlics, that's a garlic coming up, come on focus, that's it, I've um, got one garlic there I've got one garlic there. Oh my on autofocus. This should be focusing. Come on you. Uh a garlic there. I've got another garlic there coming up. Uh, one there. So I've got a few starting to show their heads. No cucumbers are showing up yet. Um no bolotti beans showing up. Nothing else really much is showing up yet, but um Fall else fails. I've got everything that Mike uh, gave me today, which would be amazing. Anyway, I will say cheerio for today and end my first vlog allotment of the year. See you all again really soon. Bye!